So now let's talk about um, Py uh, PyCharm. So PyCharm is an IDE that is very... I read many many good things about it uh, regarding to Python so I decided to try it out and <coughs> you, inst you uh, use the... when you go inside and you want to download you need to decide which uh, version so the community version is the free one and this is the one I downloaded so after you download it and I think uh, if I remember correctly just use the defaults and now uh, let's start PyCharm so this is not the way it starts so I will explain cross project and okay this is how it looks uh, the first time you execute PyCharm uh, create new project and now this is the location I chose for my projects and untitled 9 is the project uh, folder where all the files will be saved so you must choose an interpreter and you will see probably the first time you will see it empty now what you do is going to existing interpreter and it, it will be empty here I have it here because I already defined one but just ignore it what you're going to do is press this uh, for this uh, icon and go to virtual and env environment and here you have to uh, find the Python file the Python execution file of your desired environment so I have all these files located inside the Anaconda 3 folder that I've installed. If you want to use the root or the default Python 3.7 that you installed, so we just go into the Anaconda 3 and find the Python file and press OK. In my case, I wanted to use one I wanted to use the libraries uh, at the environment of OpenCV Python 3.7 so I go inside and pick Python execute file and press OK now that I press OK um, this is something I'm not sure about make available to all projects I believe you don't have to press it I don't know exactly the differences I think it might be available to all projects but I'm not sure um, well, ignore that. You do whatever you like. Uh, maybe the users who watch this video can comment what to do about it. Well, I just chose it. And now press create. Now, the problem is that... Okay, let's do an example to show the problem. So, now you open a new file a new Python file. Just give it a name, I give it a new and let's do the very basics. Import NumPy. Now NumPy is a computational efficient library. It's a library for computing, for uh, doing a very um, optimized computations now if I run that you will see that I get an error an import error DLL load failed the specified model could not be found now the problem with that is um, as I understand it that when you installed the environments using Anaconda Anaconda probably has an, an internal uh, variable called path Inside that are um, defined all the paths that Anaconda needs to access to in order to work things out correctly with Python and its libraries. But when using PyCharm, and in my case Py, uh, PyCharm was installed before Anaconda, so 
I guess that PyCharm doesn't have access to this um, path variable. So that's why it doesn't know how to handle all these, um, uh, to access all, all the needed files and folders, even though we defined where the Python file exists. So what you need to do is actually to copy the content of the path variable from Anaconda into PyCharm. How do we do that? Just go to here, window as icon, and press write Anaconda, and go to Anaconda prompt. Now you can see in Anaconda prompt, well, the base uh, environment. The base environment is the default environment that we showed all earlier. Now, if you if you need the base Anaconda environment, that's great. But if you need envelopes, uh, sorry, if you, if you need another environment, not the root one. So first, you need to list all the environments you have. So how do you do that? I'll give it in just a second. Use the command conda and then conda env list and it will give you all the environments that are installed. You can see the asterisks denotes the active the the current in environment that you you are in or the activated one. So what we're going to do now is say activate and copy the environment that we want to use. And now you can see in the left hand side in the left uh, that OpenCV Python 3.7 is now activated. If I do a list again, you will see it is activated. Now we are you we are inside the environment we need. So we want to grab all the paths that are stored in the path variable and copy that. So we use the command path. And here we have all the paths. We just copy them and we paste them in two places inside PyCharm. One place is going to file, settings, build execution, um, console, and inside console you have Python console. Here you have environment variables. Just press that and add a path variable. That's the name of that variable and paste the integrity of that variable that we copied earlier and press OK. OK. That's one place. The second place is here. You press run and you press edit configuration and I guess maybe in, in future versions it might be run debug configuration so just remember that it's run or run debug and here you see you have inside the Python tab you have new which is the current the current project we have or the current file and the environment variable that, that's that's the file that we have now and the f you go to file uh, environment variable and you do the same thing you just add path and paste the content inside all the paths that you need and press OK. Now if we run that let's see what happens. It's now there is no error that means things are good. PyCharm can access it but one may ask NumPy is a very popular library and it is also installed in the root environment so how do I know that you can access environments that are not in the root one? So that's easy because I installed OpenCV so uh, if I want to import it it's import CV2. This is installed inside the environment OpenCV. 
so if I don't have access to it I will get an error so let's see run new and we can see we get an we don't have any error and that's great so that's it for solving this error and there is one thing more I want to show you is that when you when you create a, when if you are a beginner and you have already tried things with PyCharm and didn't succeed and now when you try to uh, to define an interpreter you might have many interpreters listed here so you want to delete them because now that you know how to do it you don't want all this noise in your eyes so just press this icon and go to no so just uh, create uh, or open an already made project it doesn't matter all we need is this menu so you go to this menu go to file settings and you go to the project which is your project and you go to project interpreter and then you see the project interpreter and you see here a list now to access this list on delete or add you go you press this icon the wheel icon and say and say sh and you choose show all and you can see all these um, Python interpreters you define so you can just delete those one by one and leave only the one that you need of course okay so this is the one I need so I don't want to delete it press OK and that's it next time you're going to next time you're going to activate uh, you execute PyCharm and create a new project you will see only the interpreter that is left that's it I hope this helps beginners and thank you for watching this video